How you doing everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm just going to do a little follow up of review of this. This is my Raveman FR160 bike light. Now a couple of people have asked me um, in the last review and they've messaged me on Instagram that um, what sort of light this gives out and how much light does it give out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the bike, I'm going to put it in the alley beside my house which is pitch black now because it's about nine o'clock at night and then you're going to see what it's like in low light and then i'm going to put it out under the street light and you're going to see what it's like in actual light that you'd cycle around in in the evenings you'll get a fair idea of that i'm also going to do a little low light review on this this is the all light cme 30 it's the rear bike light i use it's very inexpensive i think it was about 17 or 20 euro or something like that on amazon uh, it's a very good light so you'll get a fair idea what this is like and what this is like so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the bike and then when we're outside we'll go through the different modes um, in the alley and again under the street loop. So let's get going. Okay, so I'm in the alley beside my house now and as you can see the light is on strobe here. And this is what it's like in absolutely no light. So I don't know if you can make out. The alley door is about 20 feet away from me. I'm going to turn on the torch. You can clearly see it there. But look how little light it actually projects. So this really is just a light for you to be seen and not for you to see with. So going around Dublin or any street where you have street or any see we have street lights, excuse me, it's perfect for the cars to see you, but you don't really need a light to see where you're going. This here, you've got a good feeling, you can see it there from the side, clearly beaming. Same from the front, clearly beaming. I'm just gonna roll the bike forward to see how close I can get to the actual alley door before you actually see it. There you go, what's that? about three, four feet before it actually shows you the colour of the alley door. Yep. We have the old light flashing away there behind me. Like that. This old light clearly seen from I think it's about a hundred feet it says on the uh, on the bottom. It's a really good light, it's got different different uh, programs on it flash that's just a pulse flash. It's got a really good battery. It's like pretty good, well. You can see it for a second. Now, for the next part of the video, I'm going to take the bike outside into street lights and I'm going to put it on, and you'll see how clearly visible it is uh, from about 20 to 40 feet away, which is probably what it's designed for. The morning. Right, so I'm outside, typical street in Dublin or any other city you might live in, London, wherever. You can see I'm about 30 feet away from the bike, you can clearly see it pulsing, so if you're driving towards it, you will clearly see that absolutely plain as day that a cycle is coming towards you. I'm just going to move to the side, you'll get an idea. Sorry, a bit of traffic going past. There you go, even through the handlebars, brakes a lot, you can see, you can clearly see that's pulsing away, I'm about 20 feet away from the bike. I'm going to walk around the front, and just go around to the back where you can see the Oli. So you can see the Oli pulsing away there. That can be clearly seen from a long way back, even though it's only a small light. See it pulling away, no problem at all. There, I'm about 30 feet from the bike now. Clearly, see it pulling away. I'm just going to check a couple of settings so you can see the different the different settings on it. So that's just the pulse. Give it a tap. Here we go. Come on, do stuff. Yeah, I've turned that off. Yeah. Oh, and the Rayman, sorry. Here you go, flash. Put a flash, and then you can actually just turn it on and leave it on. And you can dim it down as well if you need to. And put it back in the pulse. So I tend to just leave it on pulse and roll around. I'm gonna let this car pass. Hopefully, I've given you an idea of what this is actually like under a street light and then actually no light whatsoever. So, it's more so a light for you to be seen with rather than a light for you to see a project light with and um, so in any big city where you have street lights it's absolutely perfect I hope that, that short video is giving you a fair idea of what those lights are like in street light and in basically in very very dark conditions and um, as I said before it's more of a, a daytime cycle light or a, a cycle light to be seen with because it's very eye catching when it's pulsing both of them are um, but it doesn't project light very far, so if you need something where you're in a, a no light, no street light, country lanes, um, in dark evenings, it might not be the one for you. 
you might want that light as well as an additional light but if you're cycling around city streets like I do in Dublin it's pretty much perfect um, because you've got street lights everywhere and it's very good catching for traffic and other drivers and the 160 degree light where you've got that sort of wrap around of the, the actual light itself is very good because you can be seen from multiple angles so I hope you've got a fair idea what those lights are like and I hope it helps you in some sort of buying decision um, in the future so I'll see you guys in the next video thanks very much like and subscribe if you enjoy it best wishes